A snowmobile ride across a lake ended in tragedy for a northern Kent County man. Divers located the body of 29-year-old Joe Brown after his sled fell through the ice. It happened around 10.30 last night on Lincoln Lake near Greenville. Brown and another snowmobiler had just entered the lake when they hit open water. 24-Hour News 8's Joe Lafergi has more in the recovery effort. After hours of searching in some very treacherous conditions, the body of the snowmobiler was found about 1.30 this afternoon. We've known each other 29 years. Todd Roberts was among the many friends and family members comforting each other along the shores of Lincoln Lake as divers searched for Joe Brown. We're just hoping for the best. We, we just want him found. Like I said, I told people before, I'm not leaving until he's found. Brown followed another snowmobiler onto Lincoln Lake about 10.30 last night. At some point, the other snowmobiler noticed Brown was no longer behind him. He circled back and found the tracks to Brown's machine ended at a section of open water. Yeah, I guess he wasn't really thinking right. Joe's lived on this lake all of his life. He really should have known that that spot there is not a good spot. That's because a local creek empties into that portion of the lake, creating unstable ice and adding to the current. Well, there was some evidence that he tried some of the things that, that ice fishermen maybe are, are taught to do, which is, you know, shed your shoes, um, get some bulky clothing off. But to no avail. It was very deep. Uh, we were dealing with about 50 to 60 foot of water at that, uh, at that location. The depth also creates added risk for divers. They use sonar, infrared, and underwater robots to pinpoint Brown's body before sending in divers. The conditions are so cold uh, that, that we hesitated to put divers in the water before that until we had exhausted all of our uh, other resources. Um, the automated resources. We're also praising the cooperation agencies as far as East Grand Rapids were part of that recovery effort. In Spencer Township, Joe Lafergie, 24 Hour News 8.